Just in now, the United States of America calls President Tinubu, advises him on the next step. I know that this is respect to Niger Republic and their cowards. We had get we got a report on Saturday that Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger Republic have signed a defense pact to defend themselves in case uh, ECOWAS decide to invade them or in, to defend themselves against the ongoing uh, terrorism uh, activities in the nations. So, and this has attracted a lot of reactions, and a lot of uh, Africans are saying this is the best way to go for those military junctures. A uh, revolution has started, and more nations within the African bloc will join them. Okay, so and I'm sure that action that they took, signing that agreement among themselves, has sent shock waves to the Western leaders, especially U.S., um, U.S. and France. Okay, but the way it is now, uh, the shock wave is still on, and uh, like I said earlier, it might be a topic of discussion in the ongoing United Nations General Assembly in New York. So in response to what has happened in Niger, um, or the three countries signing that defense pact, the U.S. has called Tinubu now as the head of ECOWAS or the ECOWAS chairman on what to do next. Let's dive into the details and see what they're telling him to do. The United States has all the Economic Committee of West African States led by President Bola Metinubu to apply more pressure in the Niger Republic situation. Can you imagine? No one that Tinubu said is under pressure to go and invade Niger. Eh? Why are they trying to use him? They have military base in Niger. They have the largest drone base in Africa right there in Niger. Go and ta act if you want to act and don't push someone else. The United States warned the sub-regional body not to put its foot off the pedal. Okay, they insisted that more pressure should be applied to ensure the release of President Mohamed Bazoum. Why not? Uh, why, why is America not interested in Burkina Faso and Mali? Or even Chad? Why Niger? Hmm. There's something there in Niger. So according to a statement by Matthew Miller, the spokesman of the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. The United States commended Tinubu for the stringent measures applied so as to restore democracy in the embattled country. Okay, the statement says, Secretary of State Antony I. Blinken, Blink, uh, J. Blinken um, spoke today with President Bola Tinubu. The Secretary commended Tinubu, uh, Tinubu's leadership of the ECOWAS Second Extraordinary Summit on the situation in the Republic of Niger. He noted the importance of maintaining pressure on the National Council for the safeguard of the homeland to restore constitutional order and to see President Mohamed Bazoum and his family released. Bazoum had been in his presidential palace residence in Miami since he was hosted by the military on July 26. The military suspended the constitution and appointed a 21-man transitional government. So the United States has all the economic committee of West African states led by Tinubu to apply more pressure on the Nigerian Republic. Can you imagine? So what is happening here is that we want Tinubu to put more pressure. What pressure is he going to put? He has cut off power from Nigeria to Niger. He has sent delegates several times. But the guys are not budging. They are determined. So the only thing, the only language those people understand is force. So is Tinubu ready to use that force? The guys are even ready for the force. Okay. Um, they've taken several actions. One of it is signing a contract with uh, the Wagner Group of Russia, uh, PMC. That is a private military company. And uh, their people are already in Burkina Faso in Niger. In case ECOWA decide to invade them, they will fight back. Secondly, um, they have now signed a pact among themselves to fight and protect their territory or territorial integrity. That is it. So now they have warned ECOWAS that any attempt to invade Niger is an act of war and they will fight back with the full force. Okay, And the Niger has also warned ECOWAS that if they try to release military into Niger, they will kill Bazoum and his family straight up. 
that there will be no negotiation. So, and again, there has been a very serious call from several African quarters and from northern Nigeria not to use force on Niger because Niger is their brother, it's a sovereign nation, they should be left alone to solve their problem. Because the people have seen reason with Niger for their action, they are trying to fight for final independence from the France because France is destroying them gradually and taking their resources. So it's a very complex one. I know Tinubu will not do what is in fact. Let him go for the war. That's even what some Nigerians are praying for. Maybe when the war starts, that is how Nigeria will also get its own freedom and probably break up so that everybody can go his way. Because Nigeria is a contraption that is not working. So a lot of people have reacted to this call that US placed on Tinubu asking him to put more pressure on Niger. Okay, <laughs> it's a very serious diplomatic one. So let's see what people are saying. Some of these African leaders will not learn or change for the good of their subject. Niger decided their fate and liberation from new colonialism through their army or Niger people to Brit. What value is democracy to African man when it is only used to serve the West? So I say you commended Tunubu because he has agreed to be your slave and slave's leader. But those who rejected slavery are enemies. And why this special interest in Niger? Is it the only country that is being ruled by the military? Leave the country alone. Exactly. Just the same thing I was trying to say. Birds of the same feather flock together. I mean, why the interest in Niger? Is it the only country? Eh? Is it the only country where there is military government? I don't know. This Tinubu's romance with the U.S. is not in the interest of Nigeria. He should distance himself from the U.S. They are trying to use him. He's a cheap blackmail. Okay. They have all Tinubu's bad record in the U.S. And so he's a blackmail. So it's Tinubu they can use to achieve their aim in Niger or they will expose his dirty secrets in the U.S. Exactly. So it's a cheap blackmail. That's the way I see it. Okay. As I said, they want him to invade Niger. That's the reason. Exactly. To protect the interests of the West. Do what they said. No problem. You will surely win the war. <laughs> not really. You will really win the war. This guy not mean I wait for him. Make it go war. As it go war, Nigeria will disintegrate from there. Straight up. And that would be very good because that would deplete Nigerian soldiers and then people within the country can decide to fight and break up and it will happen. The same advice given to Ukraine, okay, that have left them in the middle of the sea because they thought U.S. would come to their aid. U.S. disappointed the United Nations, disappointed them. All of them disappointed them. And now they are finished. The Russia has succeeded in grounding Ukraine completely. Ukraine will not wake up even in the next 50 years. So it's going to be a very terrible one for them. Mr. President, Jagana, do it diplomatically with uh, Niger Republic. Americans are advising you for their own interest to achieve their wealth from Niger. And at the end, you will be left with troubles, sir. So you are doing well and continue to do the good job, please. What, the, what good job is he doing? He's doing well, Abi. What is he doing that is well? That is it. What is he doing that is well? Eh? So, eh, let's not try any nonsense in Niger. If you try it, eh, you will get what you are looking for. Because Niger is starting to back down. So, let's have a comment over this call that the that US is putting, uh, has put across to Tinubu, putting pressure on him to pressure Niger to release the junta, I mean, to release the, the deposed president and then uh, restore democracy in that country. Thank you for listening. Let's have your comment.